Hello and welcome to an airport update of Pittsburgh International Airport. Now, this is a one of airport update and I haven't done an airport update in a while so there has been a lot of improvements and changes to the gates and just the airport in general. But starting off at the cargo section, we have in focus a FedEx Express Boeing 757-200 freighter. Now this guy arrived in from Indianapolis today at around 3 a.m. and he's going to be staying the whole day before heading out late at night. And then next to him we have another FedEx 757-200 freighter. Now this guy arrived in from Memphis and he will also be staying the entire day before heading back out to Memphis. Now overall, this is a really similar thing that Buffalo actually has. And these airports are only around four hours apart. And then we have a United Parts Services Boeing 757-200 freighter. Now this guy arrived in from Philadelphia early this morning. Need a pretty quick turnaround of about two hours. And he's gonna be heading back out to Philadelphia. And here we have a United Parts Services 757-200. Now this guy arrived in from Louisville uh, at around 2 a.m. this morning, but he's going to be heading back out to Louisville as he is just taxiing to the runway. Now the time frame for this airport is just around 4 to 6 a.m. But anyways, getting on to Concourse A, which there are four concourses, you have Concourse A, Concourse B, Concourse C, and then Concourse D. But here we have a United Express, Embraer ERJ-175. Now this guy, really late last night, he arrived in from Houston George Bush Intercontinental Airport, and he's just turning around for it. And then right next to him, we have a United Airlines Boeing 737-800 in the Evo Blue livery. Now this guy arrived in from Denver International Airport at around 11 p.m. last night and he's going to be heading back out there at 8.45 a.m. And then right next to him we have a United Express E-175 in the Evo Blue livery as well. Now this guy arrived in from Newark last night and he's going to be heading out to Chicago here this morning. And then getting on to the southwest part of Concourse A. We have this 737-800 and he arrived in from Denver International Airport and he'll be heading out to BWI or Baltimore Washington International Airport. And here we have a Southwest 737-700 in the Triple Crown 1 livery. Now this guy arrived in from Baltimore Washington International Airport at around 9pm last night. And at around 9 a.m. this morning, he's going to be heading out to Southwest Florida International Airport. And here we have a Spirit Airlines Airbus A319 and the Banana livery. Now, this guy arrived in from Fort Lauderdale last night. And pretty much in a couple of hours, he's going to be heading back out there. But this is Concourse B and the airline sharing it are Alaska Airlines, Allegiant Airlines, American Airlines, and Spirit Airlines. Also Condor also shares it, but it has not come back, and that's, I'm assuming, due to COVID. But anyways, getting on to the aircraft, we have the American Eagle, Embraer ERJ-175. Now this guy arrived in from Philadelphia last night at 10.31 p.m., and he's going to be heading out to Charlotte at 6.27 a.m. today. And you can really see the color change right here. We have an American Eagle, Embraer ERJ-170. Now this is subbing in for an E-175. But this guy arrived in from Miami at 10.08 p.m. last night. And he's going to be heading back out to Miami in around 50 minutes. And right next to him, we have an American Airlines A320. Now this guy arrived in from Charlotte last night and he's going to be heading back out to Charlotte. And wrapping up 
Concourse B, we have an American Airlines Airbus A319. Now, he arrived in from Dallas Fort Worth at 11.51 p.m. last night, and he's going to be heading back out to Dallas Fort Worth at 7.15 a.m. Now, right here, we have four empty gates. Now, this kind of serves as Concourse C. And now, moving over to Concourse D, we have the Delta Airlines aircraft. And starting off with that, we have a Delta Connection Bombardier CRJ-900. Now, he arrived in from Minneapolis, St. Paul at 11.24 p.m. last night. And he's going to be heading back out to Minneapolis, St. Paul at 8.10 a.m. this morning. And then, we have the largest aircraft that regularly comes to Pittsburgh. Now, this is the Delta Airlines 737-900. And... This is a brand new model that I actually got, and the unboxing will be coming two days after this airport update. But this guy arrived in from Atlanta, of course, at 11.51, and he's going to be heading back out to Atlanta in around 15 minutes. And here we have a Delta Connection, Bert ERJ-170. Now, he arrived in from Detroit at around 10 p.m. last night, and he's going to be heading back out to Detroit pretty soon. But that's just going to be wrapping up this airport update. Now, Pittsburgh is a really nice airport. It's got a lot of diversity. And it's not like you need a ton of wide bodies. Except for the Pittsburgh Steeler charters. But anyways, so we will have a couple of unboxings coming. Now, I decided instead of doing like an entire week of unboxings. That I would split them up just a bit more. So we hit the model collection video then and of course the four after that but then we'll have two this week and uh, I did order two new models which will probably be one each week after that but yeah that's just gonna wrap up this airport update and I will see you in the unboxing